are the latest on May 26 around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics remain quiet today on May the 26th. No storms are active, at least no named storms anywhere around the world today. There is one invest active, as was the case in the last few days. In the Atlantic, it is pretty quiet, nothing going on. Uh, hurricane season starts on June the 1st. In the Eastern Pacific, Invest 91E is the only system active in the world. 30% chance in the next five days, it's day 12 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season. Nothing going on in the Western Pacific or in the North Indian Ocean at this time. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's equally quiet. No systems active anywhere in this whole wide region here, as you'd expect at this time of year there. Invest 91E is off the coast of Nicaragua still, with winds of 25 miles an hour and a pressure of 1,007 millibars at 10.6 north, 87.6 west. That puts it 138 miles southwest of Managua. Over the next few days, we expect this system now to linger off the coast, uh, and now a more delayed before a delay before it reaches land, uh, and then moving inland during the midweek or maybe even the later part of the week over Central America. Uh, of course, energy from this system could fuel a potential Atlantic system. This is how it's looking right now. The center of this invest, uh, whether it's actually got a center or not, is uh, an interesting question to ask. Wind shear is moderate, 15 to 20 knots, lower further south, but increasing towards the north and east. Uh, you can look at that uh, circulation, possible circulation there, and convection, which is certainly um, piping up there in those latest frames, but not very much of it at all. A lot of the energy is transferred to the southwestern Atlantic. You can see a lot of that cloud cover there on the satellite imagery in the southwestern Caribbean, um, and some significant convection just off the eastern coast of Nicaragua. It's pretty much split now between the Atlantic and the Pacific as to where the lion's share of the energy is. Um, the Gulf of Mexico looking pretty quiet. Some thunderstorms brewing up there off the southern coast of Cuba. In the eastern Pacific, things are still very quiet, of course, out over the open waters, uh, over the open ocean, I should say. Uh, some little areas of convection there near the equator, but nothing on the radar in terms of tropical activity, in terms of cyclone genesis. The central Pacific looking equally quiet. The western Pacific has one or two very tiny little um, flare-ups there in over the Micronesian region. Uh, this is pretty normal for this time of year. Um, the Philippines over there on the left-hand side, some uh, convection and thunderstorms flaring up on the southwestern side there. Monsoon season is very close indeed. In the Australian and southwestern Pacific region, this is how things are looking. There was a slight outage in the satellite a little bit earlier on, which is why it's looking a little bit loopy. Uh, but here's the Indian Ocean as well, and you can see a bit more in the way of convection over there in the uh, in the western side of the ocean. But really, nothing is going to organise into a tropical cyclone out of that. Sea surface temperatures, there is actually a little bit of upwelling going on underneath Invest 91E, whether that's a coincidence or not, uh, we're not sure, but still 29 degrees Celsius or so. The Southwest Caribbean still very warm, 28 Celsius. Uh, looking over to the uh, Indian Ocean, uh, temperatures very warm there, 30 degrees in the uh, tropical zone. The Bay of Bengal, very warm as well, I think it's fully recovered from Cyclone Funny earlier this month. And in the Western Pacific, watching those areas of likely formation there in the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea, temperatures warm, 29, 30 degrees, maybe even 31 in some places. This is another look at Invest 91E in the last few hours. Uh, not looking anywhere near as good as it did yesterday when it had that circulation a little bit more clearly. You can just about see a little bit of spin there, just off the southwestern part of Nicaragua. Um, and not much going on with it though, I must say, at this time. Convection really going very scatty and disorganized. So, Andrea was the first storm of the Atlantic, and that happened in the last week. If you missed it, all you had to do was blink. In the Eastern Pacific, the first name of this year will be Alvin. The next name in the Central Pacific is Aconi. The next name in the Western Pacific will be Sepat. Vayu is next in the North Indian Ocean. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with the latest. 
our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't, Force13 is the name, and under the same name you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages at Force13 for more information on there. Finally, if you have any more suggestions for the Tropical Weather Bulletin format in the future, we're here all season, so please let us know. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>